So here I am, just about 10 days out of high school for the second time in my life, and things are going the way I planned they would. I have my YouTube channel set up, everything's falling in place exactly the way I thought it would. Okay, maybe not so much. But before I continue, let me just rewind things to not long ago, this past school year. See, the first time I was in high school, I couldn't wait to get out. The second time, things were a little bit different. You see the second time? I didn't want to leave. Man, I had everything I dreamed about. If you want to know the truth, these past 10 days I've been really questioning whether I made the right choice or not. I mean, I miss it already. But then again, I knew I would. Today, when I place this and remove it, the water will be gone. Yeah. You see it? It's real water, huh? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it goes. This takes a lot of concentration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now again, I wouldn't try that if I were you. But you may attempt it at some point in your life. If you wish to know the secrets, welcome to my Excuse me, I was talking. <laughs> Welcome to my vlog. Now you can talk. Back at it again. Hey. We just finished our final, so we're done with algebra. Thank God. We made I hate it. That class. No, we're gonna see this. We did it. Especially that teacher. Oh my gosh. The worst. Welcome back to another um Pitino video. Looking at fresh as always, you know. Don't mind my nose, it's it's, it's regular size.
We out here just finished the final exam. I'm gonna miss my favorite potato. Oh, oh Maddie and the girl. <laughs> like, we done. We done so. We done with finals. Freshman year. <laughs> we out here. <laughs> Ashley and the girl. I can't get show my kids. Oh, you If I hide it well enough, you won't be able to tell how difficult it was for me to leave Washington High School. But I had to, because my heart was telling me that there was something else. It wasn't about teaching math anymore. So what now? What do I do now that high school's over? Why did I leave the profession I love so much? Yeah, dude. What's going on, dude? Not much. How you doing? Good. Hmm? Still alive. You see, when it comes down to it, what I really love to do is help people solve problems that you can't answer on a worksheet. The ones that you encounter in life. The heartbreaks, overcoming injuries and fears. I really want to help people overcome insecurities and self-doubt. I don't want you to forget that you won't be defeated by what they say about you, but you'll be defeated by what you say about you. <laughs> don't mind my friend, she's a little crazy. Everybody here is crazy, actually. I don't even know why I come here sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I was once told that one of the best ways to change the world is to start with yourself. So that's what I'm doing now. When I was in high school, I used to think that the answers to life would come when I graduated. And then I went to college and I thought that I would find them there. And they weren't there either, nor were they in my eight years of teaching. And I don't expect to find them now in what I do next in my life. All I can really do, all I really want to do, is help others find the best in themselves. All right, out here, 820, making moves, about to go rehydrate, refuel, get back at it, do some yoga. Catch back up with you guys in a bit. The first time I finished high school, I went to college, I studied, I got a degree in education. Eight years later, I realized that life was never about the degree I received. Life has been and will always be about pursuing a passion. And you know what I've realized? I don't need a fancy piece of paper with my name on it and a professor's signature to do that.